Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Mr. Milan Topolovic. This gentleman is the CEO of Inner Orbis, works in a number of different industries actually, works with a bunch of individuals. And the reason we wanted to get on this broadcast this afternoon is for the simple fact that businesses right now are getting hit by COVID-19. And Milan has always been somebody, a mentor of mine that has some great advice, especially in times like this. To give you guys an example as a lead in for me and him working together, I get a call the other day at eight o'clock in the morning. He's just checking up on us, no sales call. He just wants to say, hey, how's your business doing in this time of need? Is there any way I can help? So to roll this in Milan, what have you been noticing in the marketplace and what are some of the strategies you've utilized during COVID-19 to keep your business afloat as well as help some of your clients in need? It's a challenging time because uh, our clients are business owners and professionals. We all, they all, everybody owns their own businesses, whether it's restaurants, uh, hair shops, doctors, lawyers, all that stuff. So what I've been noticing, uh, of course, with the media is just hammering uh, psychologically all of us. And every day you wake up, you go, okay, what's going to happen today? Uh, some of the statistics that they're throwing out are really throwing people off. So then you're saying, okay, wait a minute. I've got a business. Last four weeks, I haven't been to my office. We just moved into a brand new office um, inside an accounting firm that we do a lot of work with. So gorgeous office. I was there for one week. Been working from home. So the challenge starts, okay, so what do you do? Um, as all of us, when you're, when, you're, when you're, first of all, out of your realm, my day is regularly very busy, as is probably the rest of your business owners. The challenge that comes to, okay, the game has changed. As a football coach, I played professionally, I coached at a high level as well. Your game plan, people was used to say to me, okay, uh, what kind of a defense are you going to run this year? And I would say, I don't know. Depends on the players. If I've got tall players, I got big players, I got short players. And this is the, exactly the same where we're in. It's like a game. The game has changed. Who knew in your vision board in January that this was going to happen? You're doing your planning. It's going to be a great year. I'm going to do this. So as business owners and professionals or anybody, you have to adjust. So the biggest thing is the shock, the shock of adjustment. What do I do next? Right. So what I try to do, um, I'll, I'll explain what I've done, and I'll also explain how I start my day. I start my day with a routine. So the big part is to keep that routine going, okay? You get up, uh, you do whatever you need to do. I have, I have things that I do, this, 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 this. One of them is a planner. And this is the planner that I'm using. And the challenge with that is it's asking you for five major things that you're going to do that day. Of course, it's a lot more difficult, unlike before where you got 20 things going on. Okay, which are the most important? So today, my number one was the podcast. Right. And I do this daily. And then I score myself at the end of the day because some things you don't you know, you may miss like exercise or meditation or any of that. So that's what I do. Set up. I read the paper. Try not to dwell on it. I more or less skim it. And then I do my own reading, things that I want to read about. Now, the big thing is many people have backed off. They're not calling. For me, it's calling a client. Um, I called a, a friend of mine that's also an accountant. And he says, Milan, last two weeks, I only had four calls. So it, our conversation lasted for 10 minutes, and it's not business-related. It's like I called you, how you doing? It's, yeah, it's no, genuine. Totally. Are you okay? Is right. there anything I can do for you? Listen, you know, and the other part is you, you, we all have friends. We all have other people that we can help. Um, I had a banker call me, Milan, uh, this lawyer needs a business plan. I'm going to give him a loan, but he needs a business plan. So I said, no problem. I introduced him to an accountant to create a business plan. Then the, guy, the guy's building a brand new office. So I said, wait a minute. My client does that. So I put Paul and him together so that they can do business. This morning, I put Paul together with my son that owns Waterbridge Media because there's, there's a program that's available for business owners. So there's too much. I'm on these podcasts with all the business owners and people. There's so much. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What are you going to do for somebody else? 100%. It feels great to, for me, 
it's a second half. It's not even, a, it just happens. Like, tell me what you need. So when people call me, I've arranged uh, surgeries for people. I've arranged uh, sales of bomb suits years ago in, in, in Europe for, for a client of ours. Right. So to me is having a, a I'm fortunate to have a, a large, um, how do you say, relationship base with people. So tell me what you want. You need tires, you need windows, you need doors. So I don't care what business you're in. How can you help somebody? And again, the other part is I have close friends that I'm in touch with. Um, and we'll talk in the morning. We'll talk at the end of the day. Say, hey, man, what's going on? What's going on with you? How's things? And so forth. Try to keep as much uh, normality to your life as you can. So as a business owner, same as us, we've got challenges right now. I, if you wanted to buy life insurance, I, can, I don't go see you because you're quarantined, I'm quarantined. So now insurance companies have said, hey, wait a minute, I can do it over the web. So we have a client that we just finished doing work for. It was a over a year project. And he and his wife will be doing an interview on the computer. Right. It's so world has changed. And so it's not all bad. So I've also learned over the, this experience that you can do things on the phone. I got referred to two clients, potential clients. And the guy says, Milan, I love your style. I love the way you do stuff. And it was a 10 minute telephone conversation. Usually I would have went there and met him. He sent me all the information. My company's value to this. The growth is at this. This is what we need. Oh, by the way, we need group insurance. Uh, well, wait a minute. Let me introduce you to Alice, who does all the benefits for our, for, for our clients. She's an independent. So even when you're thinking there's nothing going on, there's things that you can do. I, I agree. And it's 100% more effective, too. We've seen it even in our business where we start having clients do online webinars, where it's the same as going to a conference, except everybody sitting at home could be in your bed in your pajamas. Uh, another few things that I've noticed, even in the marketplace, you look at how fast the banks are actually moving for once, where you can get those loans, the $40,000 small business loan under CERB. So that's been there. The government offered $2,000 for, for uh, self-employed individuals. That moves fast. So in a way, it's actually been good that these things are getting more people online. And as a business that we focused on is primarily the mom and pop shops that aren't sure how do we position ourselves? How do we put ourselves out there, stay active? I'm a big believer, Milan, in staying on the, the offense side of it, especially right now when everybody's shelling up in defense. That doesn't take away from the significance of COVID and what it's done in terms of an impact. Uh, but I think it's more effective that you keep your business going so that we get prepared when we go back into the marketplace, even though we're already there. But when everything starts back up, when they turn that key to start the engine, it keeps it moving. So that's one thing I want to ask you about. So. I think we follow a lot of the similar protocol where stay on that offense, even though everything right now is getting hit. Maybe your business is losing money. Clients are going on hold. What do you think about that approach on staying on the offense to make sure that when that key starts again, uh, we're ready to go? I'm a huge believer of that. Huge believer. Your work, what you provide for a client, this is the time that they should be hiring you. I did a, a video. My daughter, she's with Iversoft. Carolyn, you've met. She did an interview with me. And I had two accounting firms says, Milan, can we use that interview to send it to all our clients? And it wasn't pitching a product or anything. It was information. Then I did another video by myself here in my, in my rec room and talking to employees that are employers and employees that have been laid off. A little video. I'm on a podcast with a CEO of, a, of five companies. And he says, Milan, would you mind if I use that video? So again, if I was in my regular day-to-day -day activity, I may not have thought of that video. I would have said, okay, well, whatever. So digital media, LinkedIn profiles, um, it's the offensive. I am not sitting back. I call it, I want to be like a rocket ship. When this, we get out of this, I'm already in flight. 100%. You've got all your, th all your gears put in order. So for instance, what we're actually finding in the market right now too is, is places like Instagram aren't as effective right now. They're good for awareness. But like you said, I think this is a huge opportunity for individuals to start working on their LinkedIn profiles, build them up, get your resume on there. Even another one that I don't, we try not to use, it's funny, but you can get very high numbers on there of awareness is TikTok for, it seems like a younger demographic, but you put out some funny information on there and, and it's just another avenue to the younger generation of entrepreneurs and people. 
Um, as for yourself, so something I know you worked, I want you to talk about the importance of being a connector because that's, again, it's been, so you taught me that very well, especially in your book, just so people know you're the, you're the author, you wrote something very similar to Malcolm Gladwell talking about change, but I want you to talk about uh, how, how connecting people in itself is a way of giving back and then growing, uh, growing your own, uh, how do I call it? Um, you're growing, you, it helps you grow when you connect other people. Well, it's, it's a brand. People know me as a connector. Okay. Mm -hmm. So people I've had, I've been to business functions where the speaker says Milan's the most connected guy in Ottawa. I'm not, but I happen to know a lot of people, but the difference is c connecting is part of my blood. It's what I do. So I, for instance, this morning, I get a call from, uh, from a gentleman at CIBC. He's in mortgage lending. Uh, he's, he's friends of the family, our, our son Devin's best friend. And he calls me, he says, hey, by the way, Milan, I need a lawyer for this real estate transaction. We can't get one. I said, Chris, hold on. Boom, 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 boom. Made the call, made the connection to the senior partner of the firm who's a friend of mine and a lawyer I work, but he's a corporate lawyer. His brother, Michelle, is a real estate lawyer. I sent emails out. Denis, Michelle, get a hold of Chris. He's got a client that, he, that needs help. Now, you know what? Other lawyers weren't answering their calls, so here's an opportunity for them to not just get this file, many, many others. So, and Michelle, his brother, is a specialist in that area. So where this idea came about, even my company, Interorbis Inc., it's being able to help business owners and professionals put the pieces together. So what are the pieces? Legal, accounting, insurance, investments, co coaching, business coaching, digital media. So you, whatever you, you know, when a client says, Milan, I need this, who do you know? I get calls like that will blow your mind out. So I enjoy putting people together. So even in this period of time, I have other instances where I put people together to do business. Um, you, you know, you need a pool open. Well, HB Pools here in Ottawa is one of our clients. So I call, call him Jeremy. By the way, one of our best friends needs a pool. Can you do it tomorrow? They opened it today. There we go. Uh, oh boy, I was going to say 100% and it shows. That's how it's super effective. It, that, that by far is one of the biggest hacks, quote unquote, or secrets is just being able to connect people and you grow that network and be able to leverage that. So then you're meeting more people and you become the connector. I think in this time, Milan, that's one of the biggest things that you're going to start to witness online, which people already do it. We already, you know, set each other up with appointments and things, but I think that's going to be one of the biggest shifts we're going to see where people might not be going to conferences. And then you have, you have someone online, here's an email, this is your guy. And then you become like that fundamental piece. I, I really think that's a great thing. I wanted uh, something. So obviously we have our seasoned veteran entrepreneurs. These people have big businesses, small businesses, maybe multiple businesses, but someone, so part of my network, I have a lot of millennial entrepreneurs on there. I have a, some Generation Z that are up and comers on there. What would be your advice to them being somebody that's watched business go from, you know, the traditional times to now in the digital age? What would your advice be to those people? Number one, get mentors. Number one, get mentors. And people go, well, you know, that person's really busy. They're not going to, you know what? Being asked to be a mentor for somebody is a, is a privilege and an honor. You'd be surprised how many people are willing to help, okay? So as a business owner, young business owner, or even, you know, where you've got some years behind you, you don't have all the answers. So you can't talk to your staff about it. You may not be able to talk to your spouse about it. All this stuff is in your mind and you're going, how am I going to do this? I'm, and it's funny, it doesn't have to be somebody in your business. It's actually better if they're not in your business because they're not closed-minded. They're open to say, wait a minute, have you thought about this? And that's how I connect people because people, like I tell them, let me see the world through your eyes. Whether I'm doing their estate planning, uh, putting the people together, lawyer, accountant, and driving the pro, let me see the world through your eyes. So you as a business owner having a mentor, asking somebody, listen, I really appreciate it. Could you give me, you know, let's, let's and even now, can we do a Zoom call? You don't have to meet, meet individually. Uh, you'd be surprised how many people. I'm blessed because of my um, my dot, my um, relationship base is how large. So I have people that are CEOs of companies that will give you the time. When even when like when we're seeing each other, I'll say, "Hey, can we meet a bridge bridgehead for uh, for 
our coffee, absolutely. So develop relationships. I did this study, study. I was presenting to the University of Ottawa Gigi football program, which is where I played. Two years ago, I get asked to talk about my book, Beyond the Tipping Point, which it, it talks about properly networking. None of this, let me slap you a business card, see you later. So I'm sitting in a, in a theater, there's 100 football players, and I'm talking to them about networking. And you know, you got the stairs, you're going, I just finished practice, who do I know? So, meaning they're thinking to themselves. So I got this room full of all these ball players. Some are huge. Uh, and so I say, okay, here's how networking works. And you know, you get that stare, you're going, yeah, okay. I said, okay, he, you got a network right here. There's 110 players here. Do you know every player in this room? Do you know all about them? Do you know where they come from? Do you know their father? Their mother? What's the big deal with them? And the, all of a sudden, it's like the lights went on. So we each have a network. And the idea is utilize your network in a positive way. Don't just ask. Give. You know, somebody has tires. You know, they change tires, right? So you got a buddy that does, that does tires. Well, wait a minute. Let me make a call for you. My approach is not. Typically, here's an email address. No, I either do it in person when I can or a phone call. Right. So like this morning to my corporate lawyer, that's my buddy, it was a phone call. He texted me back, Milana, I'm on a call. No problem. Well, I didn't just sit there. Boom, I send an email out to him, to his brother, to Chris. So the idea is look at your network. Who do you know? So you're a business owner. Who knows that you're there? So when you're talking about digital media and the stuff that you're doing, video work, this is the time to do it. Thanks. I even start, restarted my, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh, not, uh, not a blog, but it's a, uh, a newsletter. Right. Last week, we started a newsletter on Friday with people that we're dealing with, and they're amazing, they're amazing. So I send the newsletter out. I had responses from California, people that I know, uh, a high tech guy that I that has built many companies, Mr. Wong. He says, "Hey, Milan, how are you? How's your family?" I said, "How you doing, Mr. Wong?" He says, "I'm kicking butt. This is a great time to open up a business." So the other part is, let's say you're a small business owner, and you're thinking, "This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. This." There may be other things you can do, or partner up with another business owner. The right. guy's fixing car, you're selling tires. Go approach the guy. Listen, let's work together as a team. 100%. And I think the biggest point on that too is as you're, as you're talking about the opportunity of extending your network where you look around a room of 100 people, you don't know their parents, you don't know where they come from. Another big point on that I want to add before we close this off, I think would be super important is that's why the importance of having such a good profile too to give you quote unquote legitimacy online is very important. So you, maybe for instance, you wanna reach out to that CEO or, the, or that executive, and then your profile doesn't look that good. So maybe they don't wanna give the time because they know you're not invested. So for all you young entrepreneurs or individuals, maybe that need to take the time to clean up those profiles on LinkedIn, the better it looks, the more verified and legit you'll look. So therefore, when you make it, you make that, re, or you go for that reach out to give or ask, it's gonna be that much more effective. I agree, and the other part is if you're approaching somebody, Here's things that I learned from a good friend of mine who's a, a chairman of one of the companies I sit on the board of. He, all, he told me years ago, he says, when you're meeting somebody, here's three things you got to answer. Why should you deal with me? So what? Who cares? Why you? So when you've got your business and say, okay, so what? Hey, sir, I'm going to give you the service. I'm, I'm the one you're dealing with. I'm not a big conglomerate where you're leaving voice messages. You're getting my cell call. There's an advantage to being smaller and stealth. Don't think you have to be a megacorp. And Connor, what you're doing, and we're friends, people need that. I have hired people to do stuff. There's stuff that I do well, and there's stuff that I just don't. And I hire people to do that. But... Getting in the media, this is the time to do it. And you're going, well, wait a minute. 
Do I want to spend $140 a month on a newsletter? So, you know, I could have easily said, no. I said, no, this is the time because everybody's pulling back. They're looking, all the sky's falling. Uh, there's going to be hundreds of millions of people dying. Da, da, da. No, hold on, hold on. That's somebody's opinion. Yes, there are people dying. We have a reality, but I can choose to sit back or take control. Don't take your hands off the wheel. Take control. As a business owner, I've been in business for a long time. All my clients are business owner professionals. So I've got hundreds of stories and situations. But I'm telling you, there's people that aren't sitting still. One of our, one of our friends of the family has a restaurant here. It's amazing ribs. When you come down, we're going to have to go to meetings. Well, you know what? They even deliver beer right now. Right. With your meal. So, so instead of, okay, restaurants are closed, he got a van, you order your meal, it's delivered at nighttime, you want your beer or wine, order online, it's delivered. Right. That's thinking. That's going beyond. 100%. No, I, I really appreciate that. And I, I got to admit, you have a great approach to this and you can see why you're at the top industry and you are a connector. So, Milana, I want to thank you for coming on today. And if anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out to either myself or Milan. I mean, this has been great and it's a great resource that people need to get on the offense and obviously watch your situation, but stop thinking too much about it and just start putting the content out, get out there. I appreciate your time, my friend, and, and thank you very much for, for having this conversation this afternoon. You're welcome. And I wish all your business people, if they want to reach out to me, my email is M-I-L-A-N, like Milan, like the city, T, at innerorbis.ca. I N N E R Orbis O R B I S dot C A. Connor, you can you can post it, whatever. Post it um, any questions you may have, I'm pretty good at emails. Friends will tell you I'm like almost instant response. I'll get to you within that day for sure. Um, and even just if it's got nothing to do with planning, if it's got anything, I'm more than happy to help. Oh no, thank thank you very much for your time. Honestly, and it's one of those things where a lot of people are going to see a great perspective on this. And, and you're obviously, it's always been one. We did an interview on my show, Life on the Rocks, uh, a little while ago. And like I still to this day, one of the most insightful gentlemen I know. So thank, thank you for your time again, Milan. I really appreciate it. All right, let's go get him. Let's get it. Game time.